We'll quickly look at an alternative process that we can use on a pipe like this. Let's suppose we're machining it from a rectangular block rather than a stock profile that we've done so far with the profile process. So we'll delete the existing toolpath and we'll delete the existing stock boundary. And on the same layer that we had the stock boundary, layer 3 stock, we'll draw at a depth of minus 25 will create a rectangle just to represent the stock. I'll just digitize a couple of extents of it here. Um, so at minus 25 we created a rectangle that is our stock boundary. I'm going to use a technique now called region roughing. So I want to create some regions at the final depth of cut. I'm going to make a copy of um, that profile that we've just created and we'll just shift him up by five millimeters initially that one and we'll do the same for our part boundary so if we pick up the part profile make a copy of it to the same depth and then we have those two profiles at the, the target depth of machining I can create what's called a region within SmartCam. The part profile is that profile, the stock is that one. These are both complete profiles, they're both closed, but they don't have to be. They can be a mix of open and closed profiles. We'll see some of that later on when we apply region roughing perhaps to some of these steps on the part. So that's created uh, a region that we can apply a toolpath to. If I select the region and using the same cutter as we did before, a 20 more cutter, I'll just set a clearance height and I can apply now a region roughing process. Initially I will do spiral toolpath, hit go. So because of the depth of cut I've used a single pass then for machining the difference between the stock and the part profile. This again is a regenerable process. We can recall him later on and make some changes to him and recreate it. I can undo this one and we can go back to a part offset option. You'll see the difference offsetting the component profile beyond the stock boundary. And we'll finish that quickly with um, a quick show cut simulation of the toolpath that we've just created. So part profiling um, the difference between the stock profile and the component profile. That's SmartCam region roughing.